Egypt. That's all on. And then start the base station. So, I don't know if you can actually make that out on the screen. The command I typed was Timsys, T-M-S-I-S. Um, what that shows me is a list of all of the, uh, the temporary Timsys that have been allocated by the base station. In other words, how many people are currently associated with it. So you can see right at the bottom here, uh, zero Timsys in table. So I've started it up clean. There's you know, nothing there. <clears throat> Nobody's connected. A couple of other things I'm going to show you as well. So, a couple of other commands that I've typed here. Um, cell ID. That shows you that my mobile country code that I'm using at the moment is 001. Uh, in the GSM specification, country code 1 is test. Um, I'm then using a mobile network code, an MNC of 01. So, again, that's test. Um, so, I'm a test network in a test country. I'm operating on a non European cellular, uh, sorry, a non American uh, cellular frequency. And then if you look at the bottom here, uh, the, the short name of the network that I'm, I'm starting is called DEFCON 18. Um, some phones will display that, others won't. But the, the point that I want to make across is that at the moment, this is in a non-hostile configuration. It's in a test mode. It's not advertising any known network. It's not operating on a US cellular frequency. And certainly as it started up, nobody was connected to it. So I'll leave that running for a few minutes. Um, if people really want to do a scan for the network, you can. Um, but I prefer people to just leave their phones alone. Just you know, take it out of your pocket every couple of minutes, try and make a call, see if it's actually handed over. Because um, we'll, we'll, I'll come back to this in just a sec and, and you know, show you how easy it is to make phones hand over here. So we've got the BTS in test mode. How do we then make this into an MZ capture instead of just a, a, a random cellular network? Well, the way that cell phones identify the network is by two values. I mentioned them already, the mobile country code, mobile network code. Mobile country code, 310 for USA. There's, there's a full list on Wikipedia for every country around the world. Um, three digit number, not really that hard to spoof. Um, mobile network code, again, two, three, two digit number, maybe a three digit number that you can look up on Wikipedia. Not really much security there. Um, it's pretty trivial to change it. You can, uh, I'll, I'll show you in a sec how to do it on, on OpenBTS. Um, it's not hard. It's, it's really not hard. And then once I've, I've set the MNC and the MCC, I can change the network name as well. So that when it displays on your phone, instead of seeing DEFCON 18, you'll see you know, whatever network it is that, that, uh, that I want you to see. In most cases, um, well, in some cases, um, I've noticed that handsets will not hand across to the base station unless the short name of the network, the, the network name, um, is entered case correctly. So it's kind of sad when the security of your cell phone calls comes down to a case-sensitive screen comparison. <laughs> not much security there. So that's really all that's involved in spoofing a network. So let's come over here and actually do it. Um, before I do, I'm just going to type Timsies again. Wow, that's 15 people. 15 handsets are currently connected to my town. And, and that's without spoofing any cellular network. So 15 people in this room are currently having their, their cellular phone calls intercepted by me. And my BTS is not advertising any known network in the world. It's a test mode, it's on a non frequency, and it's still. Um, one quick thing um, raise your hand if you have an iPhone. Okay, if you do not have your hand in the air, you're probably not connected to my network. Um, in 
my experience, it's, it's generally the iPhones that, uh, that, that connect most easily. Um, it, it's actually been quite the bane of my existence trying to keep the damn iPhones away. <laughs> I, I kid you not, it's, it's impossible to get rid of the damn things. So, okay. So in the, in the few seconds that it took me to explain why there's 15 people, um, 15 more people connected. It's insane. It's, it's really easy to do. So let's, let's spoof an MNC and an NCC. So I mentioned the cell ID command. So that shows you the MCC, MNC, location area code, and cell ID. I can then do cell ID. Um, Quick question for the audience. Raise your hand if you'd like me to spoof T-Mobile. Okay. Raise your hand if you'd like me to spoof AT&T. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. Okay. So, I'm just gonna turn this around. Um, all I do is I type cell ID, and then I give it the mobile country code. Well, we're in the States, so our mobile country code here is 310. And then I give it a mobile network code. Well, AT&T's mobile network code, they have several, but the most common one that they use is 410. So let's type that in. And then I'm going to leave the, the, the location area code and the cell ID the same, so that's going to be 666 and 10. <laughs> that's it. I'm now spoofing AT&T. Um, I could you know, be a little more careful about it. I can do uh, config. <coughs> so here, the, uh, the cell ID command here, 310, 410, 666, 10. That sets my, my mobile country code, my mobile network code. And then this command down here, config gsm.shortname at ampsand t. And as far as your cell phones are concerned, I am now indistinguishable from at and So, Restrict it down to a, a limited set by, by you know, various different parameters. 